So this is the panel from Jesse's treadmill. And uh, had to take it apart because when we put the treadmill back up for her to start using it, it uh, just kept restarting. So it basically, uh, you turn it on, it would just, it would go to the like display screen and then it would just switch off and reboot like a computer. It would just keep rebooting. And um, so I was doing some diagnostics with it, I guess, and some troubleshooting. Kind of just trying to eliminate everything to figure out what the issue was. It was really hard because I couldn't get it to stay on, but then through taking like the magnet switch off, which is like right here, and then disconnecting it, reconnecting it, just going like it, in and out, the menu would stay up, but it wouldn't, it only stay up for as long as I put it on there. But you know, if, if it stayed on for any more than, you know, about a second or two, it would reboot. So that's the only way I could, um, go through some navigation stuff in the menu and that, then I figured out that it would stay on uh, after I was messing with it and after about a, I'd say about 10 seconds of it staying on a uh, capacitor blew. That's this little guy right here and you can see the top right here you see how it's cracked so basically it blew and all the smoke came out and everything so my uh, only guess is like, you know, electronics, they don't really go bad just from sitting around. Um, but the uh, capacitors, you know, they're filled with a an oil. And it's a lot like a battery. It's actually very similar to the transformers on the pole uh, outside, which are called pole pigs, which are basically large versions of these, and those are oil filled. Um, but over time, Capacitors can go bad, and they can actually change their minimal or maximal voltage that they're rated for. And one of the things about capacitors is that they can uh, they can short out. So there's like a there's basically a wrap inside there, and there's a paper lining, and it wraps around into a circle. And the wrap um, sometimes you know something can deteriorate, and it would cause a short. So if something was shorted out, it probably could have been a fail safe so that nothing heated up and got too hot. I know there's heat sensors on circuitry and uh, what was probably happening was it was shorted out and then uh, it was shutting off and rebooting to prevent damage and by keeping it on um, it probably heated this up enough to the boiling point where it basically exploded and shot all the smoke out. So my guess is that it was just a bad capacitor uh, so I got these new ones and I'm going to, it goes right here actually, this is the, this is the main power supply board. It's, it's not actually like the 120, the 120 volt power supply is actually down by the motor, but this is the supplying, uh, I, think, I think it's a 12 volt supply up to here. This is a coil here actually. So I figured I'll just replace it, it's not going to hurt anything to replace it. So the worst that's going to happen is it would just explode again. Uh, but it's better than, you know, it's better than just leaving the old one there because actually the funny thing is after the capacitor blew everything turned on and everything worked perfectly fine very very strange before that couldn't get the TV part to come on or anything so I'm going to replace this here and we're going to see what happens if it explodes then there's something else wrong in the circuitry which is causing that if it doesn't explode that means the capacitor was just bad so Eight bucks for two of them, it's worth a shot. We'll find out. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. I got the new capacitor on, as you can see right there. We'll turn the board on. Right now, I don't know if anything's, anything's going to happen right now because this is the point where, yeah, it basically doesn't turn on until you put the, the key in here. The magnetic key is a, or a magnetic switch whatever you want to call it. So this is the part where it would normally just keep rebooting and if you push one of these buttons here in the process such as the treadmill motion or the incline every time it keeps rebooting it keeps going turning on and off, turning on and off and the incline would keep going up and up and up until it basically, basically starts burning the motor up and then you can't stop it. Um, so that's what was happening before 
and it was a real pain to try to get it to stop doing what it was doing. Um, it was basically stuck in that loop once you hit one of those buttons, and then there's a special menu program that you would go into to get that to stop doing it, um, which took a while to figure out. So let's see what happens here. I got the camera on the capacitor there just in case it explodes again. I'll get it on video. So this is it. Okay, the TV is turning on. The unit is not rebooting. Let me push this button here and see what happens. Just pushing this power button for the TV before it did something bad. Nothing is happening. It's staying on and the capacitor is not exploding. It would have done it by now. Last time it exploded uh, immediately after it stayed on. So That's it. It's fixed. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, if the capacitor didn't explode and just continue to reboot like that over and over and over again, which we were about to give up on it, uh, I probably wouldn't have figured it out. Aside from going and replacing capacitors all over the place, just on a whim. But it's fixed, so that's a uh, 6800... Let me see here. Yeah, it's a 6800 microfarad 16 volt capacitor. So if you have a rebooting issue on a Nordic Track, uh, what model is this? Nordic Track treadmill, it's about 10 years old. If you have a rebooting issue, that could be what it is. Uh, I would start with replacing that capacitor. So, good luck to you.